Welcome back, Love Stylers. I'm Misty. Today we're gonna to be talking about a 90% carnivore lifestyle and how easy it is to sustain and balance your life with this. So it is not as strict as it seems. We talk a lot on this channel about living a very healthy lifestyle, not being perfect, and sustaining the weight loss you've already achieved, for example. You can dial this in any way that you like. You can personalize a carnivore diet to fit your lifestyle for when you have those birthdays, those special events, a vacation, or an anniversary, or a wedding, Christmas time, New Year's Eve. Allowing a treat now and then for those special occasions is a different story. This is every single day we're eating what's best for our body to thrive without going to those junk foods for um, what I think is an emotional reason. There's a lot of psychology behind this. Thank you for hitting the love button for me, guys. I'm at 971 subscribers. Help me get to 1,000. And hitting that subscribe button will be your first step with the intention that you're gonna start investigating all of the healing benefits of the carnivore diet today. And hopefully you stick with me so I can help you along. I'm gonna rattle off some of the healing benefits to get you thinking in case any of these apply to yourself. Whether you wanna lose fat, reduce cellulite, get off your meds, stay off of alcohol like I did, thank God. Eliminate the bad oils from your diet, clean out your organs, beat food addiction, stay in ketosis, improve your mental focus, make your brain work better, have a better memory, beat cravings, get rid of the bad junk foods from your life a little bit easier, maintain mental focus, improve your mood, this can even help for depression, and a lot of diabetics come to this way of eating because whether or not you're a diabetic, if you're on the road to becoming or a pre-diabetic, this is very important that you do your research. So why would you listen to me if I'm 51, still have a gut in the front, have some fat on my arms, and I'm not at my goal weight? Well, I wanna tell you, when you get older, it's harder to lose for some reason. So without getting scientific, I'm going to save you some time. I feel like I've made most of the mistakes, especially when I was on keto. So when I was on keto a few years back, and I think it's been six years ago that I started keto. So I did keto for about three years and carnivore for just over three years now. It's about half and half, keto and carnivore. And they have a lot of similarities. But the mistakes that I made that I want to let you know about, because I wish I knew this back then, was, you know, I followed Dr. Berg, who is excellent, by the way. If you're starting keto, go see Dr. Berg. He's the best. But he recommends seven to 10 cups of vegetables. And that's a lot of vegetables in the way of leafy greens even. So I was eating the giant salads. Guys, and I know if you're on a diet and you haven't come to carnivore yet, you're eating big, huge salads. I know what you're eating. You're eating salads with chicken on it and using the dressing with all the terrible soybean oil in there. Check out my salad dressing video. I'll link it at the end of this video and you can make yours at home. Please stay away from the bottled dressings and even stuff in a restaurant you have to be careful for, but a salad is not terrible. A salad is healthy. Healthier than eating what you might've been eating before. But when you eat so many vegetables, some of us have a sensitivity to the oxalates and the toxins that plants put out so we don't eat them. So I was finding it very difficult when I was on keto to eat so many vegetables. I don't think it was helping me a ton. Now I loved keto because it was better than I ate before that. When I drank ginger ale, ate pretzel rods like a fiend and ate Sour Patch Kids. So this was an improvement. However, if you find you've stalled on keto or you're bored or you feel like you're just not experiencing the well-being and the feeling that people talk about when they're in ketosis or the nutrition they might be missing because they're not eating enough protein, for example, you may wanna consider carnivore. And you don't have to do 100%. 
You don't have to eat a big giant bowl of meat. You don't have to eat two pounds of meat at a sitting, which I do not do. Now, some carnivores are hardcore and a lot of them are men. So that's another thing to consider, especially if you're a lady watching today. And I have plenty of free advice. Please don't hesitate to ask me anything. I feel like I've made a lot of mistakes and I can just save you a lot of time. So the vegetables didn't do it for me. I wasn't seeing the progress on keto anymore. I had lost the bulk of my weight, which was about, I think, 45 pounds. And then I stalled. So then I wanted to go over to carnivore for something a little bit more nutrient dense, a little more enjoyable, a little more satiating and helping me feel full. And I love it here. This is one of the hardest things to accomplish in life is knowing the right nutrition for your body. Cause I've definitely wasted time trying to dial in my diet over the years and had a lot of heartache trying to work out in the gym like a beast. You work out for three months and you look bigger afterwards. And it's like very confusing to us because we were taught in recent years that exercise is what burns off the fat. Well, now we've come to know that nutrition is 80% of your health. Now adding the extra 20% and putting in some good walking, light exercise, or even moderate exercise is also important. But 80% starts with nutrition. I feel like why we are not successful with dieting, for example, or at something, is because we haven't found that perfect balance of what works for us. Since no two humans are the same in the world, it's impossible for us all to eat exactly the same way. When you talk about a carnivore diet or a mostly carnivore diet, like I do 90%, we're talking about concepts where you're eating the bulk of your food is nutritionally dense. So you're getting what you need in the animal products, for example, and you're supplementing with a little butter, a little cheese, maybe some sour cream, some safe dairy and eggs and bacon is going to be a staple for you. I never heard of a diet besides the carnivore diet where bacon is the main thing you're going to be eating most of the time. I mean, we are so lucky to know this. We are so lucky to have this information that bacon has the perfect ratio of fat to protein and beautiful electrolytes for us. And we can eat a lot of bacon when you're on a carnivore diet or a mostly carnivore diet. So that is just wonderful news for most of us because bacon is the tastiest thing on the planet. And I will fight you if you fight me on this. Tell me in the comments if you think bacon is the number one best tasting food on the planet. So some of the things that I allow 10% of the time are things like a sweet potato like once a week. For example, I will also have some dark chocolate. I drink coffee in the morning and those are all not carnivore foods. And that's the 10% that I like to talk about because you can still sustain an easy balance in your life and still feel terrific. I just want to add that the nutrient density that is in meat, dairy, and eggs is everything you need, guys. You might have to balance a little bit of electrolytes with some pink salt. Some people buy electrolyte packets to help them along, especially at first, but you're not going to miss eating the giant bowls of salad. If you're anything like me, I felt like a rabbit. Yeah, like all she does is eat giant salads and she's still fat. Yeah, like I don't understand why she's been dieting for three years and she still has that fat gut on her. I can't figure it out. It's like, have you ever heard of meat? I'm gonna tell you something really embarrassing that I used to do wrong when I was on keto. Now I was improving my lifestyle, eating better than I had before that and drinking alcohol before that. But I used to go through a whole bottle, the bottle of liquid stevia, I would go through one of those per week. It had to be for the first three months. Now that's embarrassing to admit because I would never suggest that now for anybody starting keto or a low carb diet of any type. 
to use that much liquid stevia. So that was a mistake that I made. It probably slowed down my progress quite a bit. Even though I loved keto and I had great success, this was one of the mistakes I made, so don't make that mistake. Another thing I used to do when I first started keto six years ago, I bought those little green, super green drink packets where you put them in your water and shake it up and it's like drinking grass because I thought I was missing out on all the potassium from the green leafy vegetables I was not eating because I hated eating so much salad, the seven to 10 cups. I thought that was ridiculous. So I bought the little super green packets to put in your water and there was stevia in that too. And I just wasn't really seeing an improvement and it didn't satiate me. It was gross to drink for me. It's like drinking grass. And I don't want you to make this mistake, even though we're all very different. And that may work for you, but that's just something to be aware of. Um, if you're trying to get in those leafy greens and you really don't like consuming it, I just want to get you thinking about some of these things that we, we think we're doing right and we find out later we're doing something wrong and you got to figure out what thing it is. So the super green little packets didn't work for me. Another thing I did on keto that I felt stalled things for me was when I would constantly be watching videos, how to make the faux desserts and I ate too many keto treats and I started to have a really good time. It was fun making the keto desserts, but then I found I was having a keto dessert with every meal. And that definitely slowed down my progress. And um, I just traded my sugar addiction, I think, for, you know, keto treat addiction. And that can happen too, so be very, very careful. Save it for a special occasion is what I recommend. I found on keto there was a lot of information out there conflicting information, too much information, and too many um, recipes where you're adding sweeteners and different people saying different things. And one thing about the carnivore community is we all have a very, very similar um, suggestion, if you will, even though I'm technically not suggesting anything today, but to get you to think about these concepts of starting with nutrition first in the protein that you would be eating, real protein. I don't mean protein from a shake, and I don't mean protein necessarily from nuts, even though those are kind of okay in moderation, but protein from animal-based products. But finding out what works for us is so vitally important. It is paramount to know you. Nobody can know you more than you know you. So when they have one type of diet, measuring things and the same thing every day and this, eating the same foods, for each person, it's never going to work for all of us the same. And this reminds me of when men do the carnivore diet, and I love you guys, but you might go more hardcore and you might even find better success than some of us ladies, for example. So healing first is the principle behind eating on a carnivore lifestyle. Healing your organs first. So a lot of people have gut problems. So when you remove all the toxicity out of your body and you go nutrient dense as you do when you eat carnivore, you are removing toxic things from your organs. So you may have the longevity to live a longer life and it shows up on your skin, and it shows up in your attitude, and it shows up with the stamina that you will obtain. Um, I never thought I would feel better at 51 than I did in my 20s. I, I still can't really understand it, but I am so happy to know it. And when you learn these things, you get a new lease on life. And you start to love your life. In case you haven't loved your life for a little while, or you've fallen off track, or you've gained a little bit too much weight, or you don't recognize yourself in photos, or you stay away from photos, or you don't go to picnics and places where you have to wear shorts and skimpy bathing suits and things like this, it's okay, and you can fix it. This is a short, cut to longevity so you can be around for your grandkids, for your children, for your husband. 
and even sex drive I like to talk about occasionally because some of us older ladies like myself, you know, we need a little help in that department. Now I have found mine has increased quite a bit and I will mention it from time to time. I have to be careful on YouTube about this, but it will help tremendously increase your sex drive, even for men. So it increases testosterone and balances out your hormones just a little bit or a lot, depending on how particularly you wanna dial this in for yourself. Now, intermittent fasting helps a great deal and that's going long periods of time between meals and shortening your eating window. And you guys probably have some idea what that is. So fasting, I am a big, big believer in. It works for me. I do OMADs, one meal a day, lately for the past about eight to nine months now. And I just find I can really, really keep my weight down. I, I really don't fluctuate much at all. I like how my body is starting to look, even though I'm not completely happy with it yet. I'm still working on it. But OMADs for me helps me with my cravings for foods that are not good for me. And those are starting to dissipate even more each day. So intermittent fasting um, is a great tool. And you don't have to go full bore. If you're just starting carnivore, intermittent fasting might be too much with the restriction of the foods you might be used to eating. So do your own research on intermittent fasting and I will put up a video at the end here on that as well because I have found great success with that. I know I haven't talked much about food on this episode and I still want you to do more research. Check out my playlist, guys. I even have recipes, but the food on a carnivore diet is very, very basic. It's very, very simple. Meat, dairy, and eggs. And if you allow a treat now and then, and a few of the things that I allow in my life, a little bit of fruit occasionally, which I did not mention before, and even an off plan, completely off plan, treat now and then will not kill you. Now I'm not recommending that you do this often. This is for special occasions only, but you have control and much more control than you may be aware of than you think you do. And having the discipline, and I hate that word really, but having the autonomy to make your own decisions and stop before you grab something out of habit and say, no, I, I really don't need that. I'm not really hungry. My brain may think it's hungry because everyone in the workplace right now is eating a donut in front of me, which happens to me at least once a week. And I can actually refrain and collect myself and drink my water and, and take a moment, take 30 seconds, take a minute. If it takes a minute, take five minutes to sort of realize that's not real hunger. And we don't talk a lot about longevity when we talk about the carnivore diet. We talk a lot about the food. But today I want to inspire you to think about the future. And how you're going to enjoy each moment from now until the future. Stick around for my truth bomb in about 30 seconds. Please share this with a friend. Help me get to a thousand subscribers by subscribing. I wanna thank you today for hitting the love button. I love you. We also wanna thank you for listening to Black Eyed Soul. That's our music. My husband and I, Andrew, record right here in this room and we are available anywhere where you find streaming music or go to blackeyedsoul.com. And my truth bomb today is you are awesome. You are awesome. Let it sink in. I just got a chill. It is your birthright to be healthy, happy, and be able to eat natural foods that are meant to help you thrive internally, externally, and forever. The foods are here to help us. We just have to navigate our lives and pay attention to the information that we have where we know what foods help our body best. This is the way our ancestors ate before things got very toxic. And I know you know this deep down inside you. I know you wanna do this and that's why you came here today 
and I know you won't hesitate to ask me for help. If you are awesome, then you deserve to feel awesome. And this can help almost any health problem you have. And I'm gonna say that with conviction, cause I mean it. Thank you for tuning in to Love Style today and have a wonderful start to your new life starting now. I believe in you, cause you are awesome. Peace out.